Hello everyone, this is Brox Gags. In this video we're going to look at a different way of aerating through things, and that is with the do loops. And so there's two different ones that are uh, pretty closely related, do while and do until loops. Uh, and so instead of having an explicit counter, we're basically waiting for a condition to go from true to false, or for a, a condition to become true. And so uh, examples of this is when you don't know exactly how many um, iterations you're going to need. And so say you know something is going to go from a minimum value of 0 to a maximum value of 10, except for you're going to let the user pick the step size in between there. And so if they pick 1, well there's going to be 10 uh, different iterations, but if they pick a number smaller than 1, obviously it's going to be bigger than 10. Uh, bigger than 1, it's going to be less than 10 iterations. And so it's hard to do a, a 4 next loop. And so in this case, a do while loop would uh, do just as well. And so let's just hop in here. We'll print some stuff to the um, debug or immediate window in order to show this. And so I'll say public sub do while loop test. Oh, drop the space here. There we go. And it closes out for us. And so let's get a counter dim i is integer. And also do while i is less than or equal to 10. And loop at the bottom. And so this is a case where if I didn't put anything in between this do while loop, um, I would create an infinite loop. Uh, because it's just going to keep going here. Every time I get away, go through the loop, it's going to be 0. And 0 is never going to be greater than 10 and so in this case we would have a, a bad thing and I'd have to uh, go to the task manager, shut down Excel and so forth uh, and so just to make sure I don't have that I'm going to say i is equal to i plus 1 here and we'll debug.print I'll say count and i and so what should happen here if we run real quick this i went 1 to 11 so um, yes, because on the 10th time through, I would be 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, and 11 goes through there. And so we're good. If I put less, strictly less than 10, then I believe we should end up at count equals 1 to 10 there. Uh, so as you can see, it's basically iterating until that statement goes false, and each time through the loop, we're being sure to increment it by 1. And so that's one. Uh, type of loop. Uh, the other one is the do until, and so it basically works the same way, except now we're waiting uh, for a condition to become true as opposed to a condition to become false. And so I'll do do unto loop test for a sub, and we'll do a very similar thing to i as integer, do until i becomes greater than or equal to 10. Uh, the loop at the bottom here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just increment i by 1 each time, and we'll debug.print count and have i at the end. So last time we had 1 to 10. Here we have 1 to 10 as well. Uh, but notice we're using a do until loop and a do while loop above. And so what happens here, I'll hit the breakpoint there, delete off my intermediate window, and run it. Well, the first time, i is going to be 0, and so we'll hit F8. Well, i is now 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, so i becomes 1, and we print 1. We go through here, now i is 1. i is less than or equal to 10 still. Or no, i is less than 10, so this is, hasn't been hit yet. And, and I mean hit hasn't evaluated true, because this is still false. i is not greater than or equal to 10, so we keep iterating. This time i is 2. We go test it now. 2 is not greater than or equal to 10, so we keep running. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now i is 9. 9 is still not greater than or equal to 10, so we go one more time. Now i is 10. We come back here and test for the last time. Well, 10 is greater than or equal to 10, right? Because 10 is equal to 10. So we do not execute this time through the loop. We jump straight drop straight down here, there's nothing below it, so we, we end the sub. And so uh, that's a, a very quick example of a do until loop. Uh, do while loops are very similar, it's just a matter of how you're testing uh, the condition at the top, and if you're waiting for something to be true, 
and then stopping when it becomes false, or keep executing while it's false, and then waiting for it to execute as true, and then jumping out there. And so, uh, they're very simple to understand as soon as you kind of tackle the initial hurdling curve, step through it once or twice. And so, hopefully this helps you jump into using do while and do unto loops there. Uh, as always, here's the, the reference I'm currently using for uh, some of the, the background information. And so, thanks again for watching the video, and hopefully this helps you out with your VBA coding.